Hey there, kids. Do you want to see some Golden Age books? Oh, I bet you do. Stick around. We're going to have some fun. Hey there, Bobby. Welcome to Shanghala. My name is Duke, and this is an unboxing... Well, it's, it's an unboxing video of books that are already unboxed. <laughs> so, uh, and it's not, it's not any of these books here, but I'm at work, and I was coming back here, walking past the inventory, basically going to that room back there to check and see if I had any singles set aside for me to, to grade, and also taking a look to see if we had any of our Series 2 mystery boxes left. Uh, and we do. We've got about 30 left out of the original series of 250 sets. So if that's something that interests you, you can certainly go to sellmycomicbooks.com slash mystery and learn all about that. But anyway, as I was coming back, I was walking by, walking by the, the packing tables and I happened to spot this. And I'm like, holy crap and holy. <laughs> because I have been collecting comic books for, for close to 50 years. And I've worked here for a couple of years. And even so, I still haven't seen a lot of honest-to-goodness, golden age superhero books in, in real life, out in the wild. And here were some just sitting on this table, obviously... It's something that uh, Jamie, the uh, the shipping uh, person, was working on uh, before he went home for the day, and so I just thought I just thought I would take a second and show these to you. So this is going to be kind of a shaky cam video because I'm holding my iPad in one hand while showing these books to you with the other. So there is Action Comics number seventy-seven. Look at that, still still with the uh, Joe Schuster corner box there. And it's got a prankster cover. <laughs> this is from the era when Superman was mostly fighting crooks and gangsters, and his, his most dangerous, most outlandish supervillain <laughs> was the prankster. So what else is on this pile? Here's Action Comics number 87. And I'm not, I'm not going to take these out of the bags and open them up, unfortunately. But I just wanted you to, to be able to at least see the covers. If you've never seen any of these, like I said, in the wild, as, as I have not, then I thought you might be excited to see this. So there's Action Comics 69, another prankster cover. Captain Flight Comics. It's a four-star publication. What is the issue number six? An early uh, Superboy appearance in Adventure Comics, number 109. And looking very much like a boy, you know, un unlike most iterations of Superboy that I am used to, uh, he, he's looking very boyish there, maybe, maybe 10 or 11. Now here's a classic, classic Superman cover from Action Comics number 50. That's some cool stuff. It's got a bad spine roll, but even still. Headline Comics uh, number 6 with the Young Rangers. Oh no, the Junior Rangers. And this is fairly early Junior Rangers because they would get a, a Filipino member you can see they are uh, parachuting into the, or actually maybe that's the, yeah, that's the Filipino member right there. They are parachuting into a uh, Nazi air base. That's some weird, uh, weird camouflage, uh, yellow and blue <laughs> on that hangar, but yeah, I don't know. Flash comics, wow. And of course, if you don't know, Flash comics was an anthology title, and the cover alternated every other issue between The Flash and Hawkman. So this was, uh, this was the Hawkman's turn. All-American comics, wow. And look, it has the, uh, this is during that brief time when Max Gaines, uh, who was the head of All-American comics, 
took off the DC logo and put on his own American, uh, all American logo. That only lasted for a few issues, and it was probably part of a, a negotiating ploy because it was right after Gaines did that that uh, the head of DC, Harry Donenfeld, and his partner Jack Leibowitz went ahead and, and bought Max right out, took full control of the All American line. So there you go. Here's an early uh, classic comics, what we would know. Uh, in later iterations as Classics Illustrated. This is issue number, where is it? Does it say on here? Number three, Count of Monte Cristo. Monte Crisco. Captain Arrow Comics with, uh, <laughs> uh, that's not racist at all. <laughs> uh, number 21. And Zip Comics. And who the heck is that? And so Zip, this is Archie, actually, or MLJ Publications, as it was known at the time. I don't know if this is pre-Archie or if Archie's already made his debut. I don't know exactly what the date is on this issue, uh, number 37 of Zip Comics. But, uh, and I don't know, is that Steel Sterling? Um, but you can see the others in here are... The Web, you probably know who The Web is if you're familiar with the Archie heroes. You probably don't know those uh, other characters. <laughs> Chimpy. <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's that pile. And then there are also some more in this box over here. I'll come over and show you this box. And it looks like... These are obviously all going to CGC, and you can see here fixed spine roll. I'm not sure if that's uh, to indicate that we notice a spine roll has been fixed, or that we need to fix it by putting it in one of those presses. But anyway, you can see here, look at this. Superman number 13, and that is a classic cover as well. Wow. I, I so desperately want to take this out of the bag and thumb through it. I'm not going to. I probably shouldn't even be touching it just as it is. Here's another another classic comic. Classics Illustrated, number five, Moby Dick. It's hard to do this with one hand. Flying Cadet, number 17. Look at that. And we noticed, actually, I'm going to... Rather than thumb through those, I'm going to go ahead and take them out one at a time. So there is Action Comics, another Prankster cover. Boy, Prankster was all over the place, wasn't he? Number 95. And an early Detective Comics. Number 95. Oh, a Joker cover. A Joker cover. A case of the practical Joker. And it looks like Miss Dolores Whack <laughs> Sack. Uh, Roll Route 2. Northward something. I don't know what state. Oh, well, she probably knew what state she lived in. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, Superman number number 34, the American Red Cross needs your support. Give it generously. Uh, sorry, Superman. The Red Cross spends too much in administration. Don't think I'll be giving. And here, oh, this cover. Look at that. One of, the, uh, one of the first books that I got when I was a kid, back in the 70s, was, uh, was a hardcover book from DC titled Superman from the 30s to the 70s. And it had a cover gallery in it, and I think this cover was in there. And uh, it always just 
amused me. Huh. <laughs> and last but not least, Wings Comics. Now, what is happening here? Oh, that's the that's the pack mule being used by the uh, Japs there. Toll for a typhoon. Hmm. Grease monkey griffin. <laughs> Fighting Aces of War Skies. Look at that. Wings Comics number 51. Well, there. All right, let me put those, put these all back. And there we go. Those are all back. So, that was fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, come back. We'll have some more unboxings. We'll have some grading videos, some other cool things. And, uh, Hey, until next time, goodbye, good luck, and please be good to each other.